So here is the Eisenkopf and Söner griddle. It's about just the same as the maiden griddle, carbon steel griddle. Just here's the text Eisenkopf and Söner. Maybe you can't see it so well because I have used it maybe like four or five times on the charcoal grill. <clears throat> now I make some common Finnish or Swedish food. Start first with boiling some water and adding some potato just for a few minutes. Okay, so in goes the potato. Just for a few minutes, then I will put them on the griddle. And here's some of the ingredients. Yesterday I made this entrecot steak, and here's some beef sausage. Sorry, I forgot the fan. And here's some some raw sausage garlic and a bit of onion this steak it was amazing i had so much so it fits very well for today's food okay so i have had the eisenkopf from Söner for quite some time on very low heat first <laughs> because i don't want to warp it do it is four millimeter thick so it shouldn't work so easily at all but now I'll just I'll just oil it a bit initially I I blurred the pan, but after that I just did like one and a half seasonings, if you can say like that, like only one seasoning all around the pan and then one seasoning inside the pan. I also seasoned the handles the first time but <clears throat> but this pan of riddle was already pre-seasoned so I don't think it was so very necessary to to season it so much okay so now it's now let's start to make the food I'll put the camera on my phone understand I think I had the video ongoing. Okay. So guys, I must have accidentally pressed the button so now it's the phone on the stand. I had quite a good amount. I had like three very large potatoes. And then I boiled them for like 
three minutes. Oh, actually, after I put them in the water, I almost immediately turn the heat off. Do some some water on the papers and dry completely. Let's see how how non-stick this is actually. I only tried once. I think only once about the actual non-stick capabilities on my charcoal grill making some bacon and, and some eggs right after the initial initial seasonings but I wasn't very impressed so it wasn't <laughs> nothing I cared about to think about but let's see how, how this has developed after using it a few times more in the summer. Now the weather in Finland starts to get so cold that I'm not so pleased anymore to grill outside. So I thought that's why it was a good idea to check out how this works on my stove. Hopefully. I will not warp it, even though I didn't pay much at all, <coughs> only like some 50 euros or something like that, or some 55-60 dollars or something like that, because I got a very good deal on this guy. Okay, so finally, just a few minutes ago, I turned up the heat to medium. No, I, I turned, tried to turn all the potatoes on the skin side down. I didn't peel the skins. I think they look like quite good quality. Now let's add a bit more generous of the oil. You saw I just put a tiny amount of oil in the beginning. Okay, after a few minutes I think it looks like this guy's skin side has started to be ready. So now I have this my my new wax spatula actually I, I bought this the same time as the griddle. This is a one one buangi wax spatula. I think it looks very nice. Carbon steel nitrate so it shouldn't rust so very easily.
Okay, just after about one minute, I say the heat is quite high. So it, it handles very well the heat. This finished bacon doesn't have so very much sugar or things, but, but it has some. So there's always a possibility that it can be a bit problematic, but, but I think bacon is always good. to this riddle because this sides are they are not, not deep they are very, very good on the grill but you have to be a bit careful you don't make a huge mess on your stove Okay, so after another minute or two, I think the bacon starts to be like 50% or a bit more cooked, so I'll just take it off. As you see, this spatula, it's very good because it, it's just enough rounded, so it should not scratch. The you see, I can I can spray all the all the guns from the bacon. And I can't see any any scrapes here. There was a one big scrape from the factory. isn't scraping the surface at all. Okay, so I'll call it a day and move on with the next ingredients. Okay, maybe just I'll just take the most burnt bits off the petrol all because my child is going to eat this one. Okay, but you see looks very nice to grid on. And then before I add the other ingredients, I'll just incorporate the potatoes and the very, very nice bacon fat. And we are actually turn around the griddle on the other side. Let me get the handles if I can find it. Okay, so absolutely no sticking on the potato, but I think this starts also to be like 70% ready, so I'll just move this before I incorporate the other meat, my meat ingredients. Okay, here's a picture of the griddle and the middle. In goes the raw sausage. I think this is like a, a bit of the bigger quantity of the meat. Uh, this, this is such a sausage, I can see it, it sticks even more easily than the back, huh? I 
размазать концы уже. Okay, so after a minute or so, I think it's time to add the rest of the sausages. Okay, so I think I need to take this guy so I can then I have some onions and garlic here. I could have made more but I thought placing this shall be enough. Okay, so the only one that I got I'll just try to clean this. Not clean this, clean all of this stuff. Just a bit. On this side, I can see here's a bit more aroma. On the other side, here's not so much aroma. This is just for the bare minimum. I can see using <coughs> for my fire. But I don't want to 
put so much oil because then I'm afraid it will splatter all around the kitchen. So you got to have a compromise with the oil. Okay, so I think these guys are ready enough. And you see this wax spatula, this is, this makes life so much easier. I can fit, I think, everything here. Just for a minute or so, it is ready. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good. And then let's incorporate all the ingredients. First, a few potatoes, all the bacon underneath. And as I said, no, I just have one third of the heat, so I think I even turn it a bit down. I think my stove is fairly capable. It, it has enough heat, but on this side I usually try. On this side there's <coughs> much smaller burners. One burner like this small size here. And here's a bit bigger burner on this side. So this side should be a bit more hot than this side should be a bit more cold. But I must say this feels so much more fun to cook on the griddle this type of food because on a pan or a wok perhaps where I used to make food like this, you never actually know how even the food is distribute, distributed on the pan and some pieces can burn much more easily than others but here <coughs> if I have the patience to check closely I can be very very Closely, all pieces are 
have just the browning I'm looking for. I must say I, I recommend such a grid on but what about the work? Ah sorry guys I didn't find the handles. I have some leather handles that were included with this grid or but I couldn't find the bag. Or well, maybe it can be just a bit or I can take some. Okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'll just dump it. Let's see. Oh, I can see some wobbling here. I didn't notice this. Maybe here. Maybe yeah. On this side. Nothing. So I have just a little bit. Wow. It was drifting itself. Yeah, you see the big burner on this side. <coughs> the handles are quite. Not great. I could have even had the handles on. Okay. But yeah, some just a bit of wobbling on this side. Now after I can turn the grid off. But I think it's so minor that it will straighten itself up. Or I don't think it will even have an effect. On my stuff. Perhaps if you have induction stuff, then maybe it's a bit more dangerous to use this. But actually, I have worked many, many pans on this stuff. At least a few stainless steel pans, one being quite thick bottomed. And I like some three or four carbon steel pans. They were all up to around 2.5 millimeters thick. But some, some less, and even less if you want. They can work like you know, in a heartbeat with a stove like this. But this starts to see And then the final touch now after turn the heat down is of course some some salt. I have here some Himalayan salt. Add a bit more garlic. Skip the black pepper. <clears throat> the 
it's ready. Well, uh, I need to fry some eggs. Just bear with me, guys, just a bit longer. Okay, so bear with me. This sound can be a bit. I just want to show how easy this is. Just scrape all the gunk until in 30 seconds or so. Okay, so I, I don't think I will add even any butter, I just start to make the eggs. I don't want to bore you guys next. Okay, so. <laughs> Forget me, forget me. I think it's not so nice to cook the eggs. They said it's better I make this a bit more clean. Actually, this fits very good in my sink. I just turn it around to, to wash the other side. But it, it's just perfect. Just need to be a bit careful what they need to do. But, as you say, it's just a bit of a wash. If, if the eggs won't stick, okay, so now comes the final treat. Egg test. Okay, guys, maybe I'll I just put a bit of butter here, just to be fair to this time. Okay, the pan is again quite hot at medium heat. Maybe I'll just turn it just a bit down from medium heat. Okay, and sorry, I'm, I'm not an expert in this equipment. I didn't break any of them. Okay, after a half minute or so, after I washed my hands, I put some Himalayan salt. Okay. I can see it here. Now the burners, the eggs are starting to get ready. I'll turn off the heat. And the middle is still not ready. Yeah, I can see quite well <coughs> about the properties, how evil the heat is. So this is already here. So this and yeah, this is just ready. This is just ready. This is just ready. Okay, so <coughs> again, I need to 
Так, надо расплачивать. Да. А нам здесь нас бегло. Ну, где да. Там стал. А вот и танк. If you have watched. Вот это вообще. Скажет. Сэкэлэк. Испанс. Jest to skóry do nam szczepana. To jest perfectly nam szczepana. A jak to jest? To jest just under the yolk. A to jest lift it like this. Here I just get a bit closer. Just push it a bit. Because I prefer not to break the eggs. Oh, just as I said, I broke it somehow. And this guy, that's quite the same. Very, very easy. Not sticking. And how about this guy here in the middle? Yes, yes. Is he ready already? Yeah. Oh, he's starting to be ready. And he seems very, very nice sticky. Oh. Oh, here I have some. Just a bit. Here. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Here you see. I moved it here. On the big burner, under the big burner, and you can hear from the sound that it's much hotter than here in the middle between the burners. Okay, but thanks for watching. Man. I'm going to start to eat now. Thank you so much if you have watched all the way through. Bye bye.